Where have you been? I've been worried about you. I'm fine. I'm fine. You don't look fine. Was it Sean? Did he upset you? I just want to get out of here, Philip, okay? I just want you to take me home. You just hold me. Okay, so let's go home. I will hold you all night. That's all I want. Hey, man, how you feeling? Great. Never better. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Finally got through my thick head that Bell wants Philip. And so be it. I just got to deal with it and move on. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I'm so sick of this place. I got to see about getting out of here. Hey, Bing, I just got done talking with Sean. And I just talked to Bell. But I don't care what they say. I still believe they belong together. You know what? You are going off the deep end here. You're going to have to let this go, okay? Bell is committed to marrying Philip, and Sean has told me he's ready to move on with his life, so there's nothing else you can do. Don't be so sure. What, I mean, what are you talking about? What if I said I could prove to those two that their whole breakup was totally manipulated, that Sean was brainwashed into thinking he had lost Bell to his best friend? Then I'd say you've been watching way too much daytime TV. Look, the stuff like that only happens on... What's that show called? What is it? What is it? Passions? Okay, th this is real life, memes, not some soap opera. And you're gonna have to accept the reality that some relationships just don't work out. I wish everyone would stop saying that. I don't have to accept anything. Sean and Belle are my best friends, and I'm going to prove to them that their love is written in the stars, that they're meant to be together. Just like us. I love you so much, Rex. I'm gonna show you and everyone that it's all gonna work out. You'll see. Oh my gosh, what is your problem? We're never getting out of here, that's my problem. Aw, oh. well you got that right, sister. Everybody in Salem thinks you're fish food and no one's coming to your rescue. Bart, what are you doing? My job, making sure everything's cool. Shut. No one can hear you anyway, and uh, no one's ever going to. Then what's the difference if we yell or not? Don't try to play mind games with me, copper. All right? You just do what I say to do, or else. Let's go. Did you see it out there? Did you see it? Yeah, see what? The reflection in the mirror. Oh, and Billy. You're right outside. Doc, are you sure about that? Yes, yes, yes. I don't see anybody. It does look like somebody was there, though. I see two distinct sets of footprints in the snow on the ledge. They have come to rescue well, us. Well, I hope you're right. But I don't understand why Bo would be here with Billy and not Hope. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe Billy was being held captive here and he came to rescue her, and he did. Now they're both coming for us. And maybe John is with him. Maybe John is with Bo. Don't, Doc, Doc. Listen to me. You've got to remember. 
John was seriously injured when we left that island. He couldn't even walk. Maybe he's okay by now. Well, you know what, Doc? You might be right. Because after seeing him in bed with Kate like that, yeah, I think he must have made one hell of a recovery.